I recently demoed ECI M1. It's not a one-size-fits-all solution, but if you're a mid-level manufacturer ready to transition from paper-based systems, QuickBooks, or an MRP, could be the right move for you. Let's break it down, its pros, its cons, and what it means for your business. Hey everyone, this is Jeff Budiak with Software Connect, your trusted partner for software reviews, research, and recommendations. We've evaluated many manufacturing ERP systems. Don't miss our roundup page for more deep dives. Check the link below. ECI began in 1999 as an office products e-commerce platform, but later pivoted to include manufacturing. Over the last few years, ECI has met a handful of targeted acquisitions to enhance functionality in their existing products. Notable acquisitions include McCola from Exact, E2 from ShopTech, and the recent Allura, a machine intelligence platform compatible with M1. Together, these acquisitions provide a comprehensive ERP systems that scale with your plant's growth. M1 is a dedicated ERP system for job shops, made to order, custom, and mixed mode production. Initially developed by M1 ERP, it's grown to include CRM, inventory tracking, and more. Some of M1's direct competitors include Epicor and Global Shop Solutions. Cispro and Infor Cloud Suite Industrial are higher end alternatives, all targeting the manufacturing sector. During our demo, I found that M1 is ideal for medium sized manufacturers with 10 to 100 employees. M1 transitions these companies from paper travelers, spreadsheets, and QuickBooks to an integrated system. Some manufacturers graduate from ECI's Job Boss Squared to M1 as their functionality needs expand. M1's feature set serves more complex business needs like splitting single shipments into multiple boxes. It's also suited for made to order environments and job shops. M1 aligns with single projects and small batch productions. Unlike systems designed Designed for mass production, M1 supports custom and one-off operations. For example, the custom job entry tool permits unique specifications per job, covering materials, processes, and delivery. M1 has a special version for international traffic and arms regulations compliance for aerospace and defense contractors. This ensures compliance for companies handling defense and military technologies. Finally, it's designed for discrete manufacturers. It handles job tracking, bill of materials, and shop floor control. M1 also supports serial number tracking and product variants. However, it lacks in features for process manufacturing like batch manufacturing and heavy recall management. Chemical or food and beverage sectors will likely need solutions like data core. Now let's talk about some of the advantages of M1. It has enhanced scheduling. M1 offers detailed production planning. This includes finite capacity scheduling, crucial for job shops needing a clear view of the production limits. Its granular approach allows scheduling down to specific work centers or machines for reduced downtime. It has great scalability. M1 is scalable thanks to its strategic alliance with platforms like CadLink. These partnerships simplify integrations and ensure your investments remain relevant even a decade later. CadLink integrations help your plant scale by handling more complex and varied designs as your products evolve and your operations expand. Now, M1 provides accounting modules tailored for manufacturers. For example, it automatically integrates work orders metrics like cost and revenues into a broader financial reporting. While it can integrate with QuickBooks, M1 has a built-in gap-compliant accounting module. It generates and sends invoices and includes payroll module unlike CISPRO. Looking to explore ECI M1? Make it easier with a free consultation from one of our software specialists. We can guide you to product recommendations or help get you started with M1. Just visit softwareconnect.com or click on the link below. Now let's talk about some of the downsides that I noticed. It has somewhat of an unintuitive UI. We get this feedback frequently in M1's interface. Many users think that the navigation ribbons and pane windows look outdated. Its intricate menus can be particularly challenging for the less tech savvy. While the flows tab and navigation trees mirror real world workflows, they fall short of simplifying the system. M1 lacks no or low code customization. Businesses must adapt their workflows to the system or use professional services to add new features. In contrast, Epic or Kinetic lets you make limited code adjustments to the software. It can also sometimes suffer from slow performance. Some users experience noticeable lags, especially when opening new windows. It's often due to M1 retrieving extensive data from its Microsoft SQL Server database. M1 offers cloud and on-premise hosting. Dependent upon your network speed and hardware, on-premise deployment might be faster than the cloud-hosted option. Like most large ERP vendors, ECI doesn't publicly disclose their pricing, but 
ECI did provide us with some ballpark figures. M1's absolute minimum pricing starts at $1,000 per month and scales up as user count increases. The platform serves 10 to 100 employee manufacturers, ranging from 15 million to 100 million in revenue. ERP implementations for medium businesses typically take four to 12 months. ECI says that their installation service pricing is usually lower than the bigger competition by a substantial margin. They also provide a dedicated account manager for setup, data migration, testing, training, and post-implementation support. Implementation time depends upon your business's size, volume of data migration, and chosen deployment. M1 offers both cloud and on-premise options. Cloud implementations are generally quicker. For an accurate quote, you should request a demo from ECI's solution specialists. Finally, our demo gave some insights into M1's key aspects, from cost implications to standout features. First, let's talk about return on investments and total cost of ownership. The average ROI for an ERP system is about two and a half years. M1's fees can fluctuate based on licensing, customization, and user count. Ongoing support and maintenance can also play a role in the total cost of ownership. For a detailed breakdown, it's best to contact ECI directly. Next, let's talk about high-level data analytics. M1 provides insights into capacity, real-time inventory tracking, and equipment downtime data. You can integrate this with ECI's Cognix for advanced analytics. This BI tool consolidates data from multiple sources into custom dashboards and visualizations. M1 offers configurable financial dashboards focusing on cash flow, revenue, and expenses. Your team can generate detailed reports like profit and loss, filtering by date range, product lines, or departments. Though M1's accounting module is fine-tuned for manufacturing, it can sometimes fall short. It lacks real-time costing, especially for cost of goods sold. Meanwhile, platforms like CISPRO provides detailed costing features suited to manufacturers and distributors. Next, let's talk about integrations. Apart from Allura and Cognix, M1 can integrate with popular tools like QuickBooks, Avalara for tax compliance, and Cadlink for design data. It also supports EDI so that you can automate the exchange of purchase orders and shipping notices. Finally, you can integrate M1 with Microsoft Excel using the Insights Software Spreadsheet Server integration. This provides enhanced data analytics and real-time Excel reporting. Otherwise, M1 system has built-in functionality to export data to Excel directly. Next, let's talk about user adoption. Now, switching to a new ERP system is often met with reluctance. 82% of employees initially resist these changes. ECI tries to ease the onboarding process through instructor-led sessions and webinars. However, some users note slow support responses, which could frustrate some employees and reduce productivity. And last, let's touch on some other features. M1 offers both finite and infinite scheduling with both forward and backward options. Its scenario-based planning tools lets you evaluate multiple production strategies. The production scheduler, with its drag-and-drop graphical interface, makes adjustments easy. Also gives you a clear overview of your plant's production cycle. Your managers will have an easier time identifying bottlenecks within this feature. On the other hand, M1 does not offer a true product configurator. It resembles more of a standard product setup screen. In contrast, platforms like Epicor have true configurators with dynamic adjustments for production variations. This is more relevant for an engineer-to-order environment, though. To sum it up, ECI M1 scores a 7.8 out of 10, excelling in scheduling, accounting, and scalability. Though its UI and performance could be better, it fits mid-level discrete manufacturers and job shops well. Interested in alternatives? Learn more about solutions like Epicor and Infor Cloud Suite and our Roundup page. Find the link in the description below. Have you tried M1? Share your thoughts in the comments. We'd love to hear from you. To explore M1 or other ERP solutions, make the most of our software expertise. Hit the link in the description or swing by softwareconnect.com. Catch you in the next review.